complex oscillators. They are shrouded in mystique, yet the price tag is very real and unequivocal. Many people believe that the first commercially available complex oscillator was the Bukla 259 from 1978. But it wasn't. Bukla. The name keeps haunting me. I live in the world of Eurorack, but still the old name Bukla is present in my mind way too often. Why? This is one of the reasons. Five years prior to 1978, the physicist Don Buchler announced the so-called music easel, a system meant to be portable. It could even be charged or run on a car battery, which makes sense in a country, America, where the car was and is everything. The music easel had two oscillators, and one of them could modulate the other. Hence, the complex oscillator as a product was born. In many ways, the music easel has become the quintessential system of the so-called West Coast style, in which you add complexity to a waveform rather than reducing it, typically by using a filter, the latter being the common method associated with the so-called East Coast style. Now, the music easel celebrates its 50th anniversary in 2023 and it can be purchased today for $5,000. The idea of a complex oscillator has put a spell on me. Even when I'm trying to forget that there exists something called complex oscillators, the idea of them keeps popping up in my mind, just like a memory of a girl I once fell in love with in my teens, but never got to know. So instead of this lust love, I have hysteria, twice, and a modulation bus in between, VCAs, wave folding, malt, and a attenuator. I'm not in love with this system, but I do care for it. It is a representation of the core idea of Modeler, that new functionality ought to be patched rather than bought. Of course, a CSL by Instru, a superb complex oscillator, is way superior to my double hysteria setup. Of course it is. I'm satisfied with what I've got, and currently I have saved myself some $600. Now, by patching this, I also learned something about complex oscillators that perhaps I would not have achieved learning by just buying a finished complex oscillator. And I think it's worthwhile to think about that Modeler is about patching, not about buying new functionality. You could say that this complex oscillator featuring two hysterias is a poor man's complex oscillator. It has a feature set that has a lot of discrepancies, but it makes me learn about complex oscillators in a way that buying a finished product would not let me.
Hysteria by Dreadbox is getting old. Today you will be able to buy an oscillator about the same price, perhaps $50 more, with a feature set that is quite superior. For example, after later Audios Cascades or Una by Nano Modules. Those two oscillators have multiple outs and a lot of CV control. Hysteria has a lot of feature for its price. It's about $140. Second hand, it's a bargain. Now, the Dreadbox Hysteria is lacking in one department in particular. It has just one output, except for the pulse. I hope these demonstrations have sparked your curiosity and your lust to explore this field. If you like the video, consider giving it a like because the YouTube algorithms are crushing. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.